Hello to all my sales professionals. This is your coach, Joel Pinero, bringing you the tip of the day. Remember, always getting our game to the next level, learning, understanding the mindset of the customer when the sales process starts. Remember, if you stop learning, you start forgetting. So let me bring a topic. Let's get right to it. I want to talk about this thing here that happens in sales a lot. A lot of salespeople, they make a mistake consciously, sometimes unconsciously, but the idea is to always continue sharpening our presentation. I want to talk about telling is not selling okay telling is not selling selling is influencing all right so this is pretty much it a lot of salespeople in the sales industry you know they talk nice and you know they you know when they do a presentation they just talk talk and they rely on this well guess what a lot of people they already know that you're going to be trying to say things right we have a perception in sales that we write to embellish on things or you can exaggerate and that you're gonna say that things are great. I never heard any salesperson talk negative about their product. So here we go. So instead of doing that, which the customer is expecting it, what about if you show them and demonstrate to them whatever you're saying? Back it up with documentation. Documentation beats conversation. So instead of just saying things about the product, saying things about the location, saying things about what it, you know, it is, what about if you demonstrate? What if you back it up with some documentation? Remember, telling is not selling, selling is influencing, right? So when you are explaining a product, not only you're gonna tell them what it is, but of course you're not gonna tell them what it does, right? And when you tell them what it does and you demonstrate, you take it to that next level, now for some reason, people are gonna believe it. They're gonna feel it and internally, they're gonna be influenced. Remember this, seeing is believing. Right? So if that is correct, and we heard that for what, centuries, right? So what about if you show them more than what you tell them? Okay? Demonstrate. If you're talking about laws and regulation, what about if you show them the law and the regulation? What about if you say, listen, if you buy this piece of real estate over here or this house, this is what, you know, the value is going to be and you know what, it's a great location. And you are saying all these things, the customer is saying, well, uh, of course, I mean, what are you going to say? However, but if I say all these things, I demonstrate it, and I say, here, look what it says here. Don't take my word for it, Mr. Customer, I get it. But here, this is what they say in the newspaper. This is what the critics are saying. This is what the chart is saying. This is what the statistics are showing. Okay? That is going to have a bigger impact than you just saying, man, this is great. This is great. Oh, my God, this is the best thing since sliced bread, right? But if you demonstrate, people have this tendency that if it's written in the newspaper, if it's written somewhere, right, then there has to be some level of truth. So guess what? Especially in this time, right, we're in 2019, right, era of visuals. So if you say something that, and they have doubt, because they're going to doubt what you say, they might go to Google, they might look, look it over, they might go home and say, let me think about this, because you have said so many great things, even if they're true, I have a percentage of doubt. But if you demonstrate, if you show me, right, where it says that, here's the doubt, and who says it, the credibility starts growing. Your trust gets to a whole new level, okay? So again, selling is influencing. We want to influence. Wow, man, look, it says it over there. You know what? That makes sense. I can see what he's trying to, you know, let me know, and I appreciate that. But if you rely only on the words, there's going to be chances that they're going to doubt it. Remember, people are conditioned to believe what they see and to doubt what they hear. I'm not saying this is not important, but this is extremely important for everybody. If I see it, I cannot go against what my eyes saw, right? I saw it. I read it. It was there. So it has to be true. You follow me? So if seeing is believing, you need to kind of Get through their eyes more so that way your credibility and your competency level works. Okay? I remember I traveled, you know, uh, quite a bit and I went to this state, I think it was Branson, and they said the show me state, right? And I loved it because I've been pitching this for many years, right? Stop telling people how great you are, how great it is. Show them, demonstrate to them how great this is, right? In the timeshare industry that I spent many years, right? I used to have my pitch book because a pitch book is important. Right? And I had documentation and I had backup and statistics and the whole thing. So guess what? Now I'm doing a presentation that is more visual than here. Okay? So guess what? If it's there, it has to be a level of truth. 
okay? And many years ago in the resort, we had a big celebrity come in to stay in the resort, right? And it was all over the news. So what I did immediately, boom, I cut that piece of news, I put it in my presentation, and I used to say, listen, our security here is so tight, right, and this is so exclusive, that X, Y, and Z celebrities stay in our property. Then I kind of be quiet, the people go, what? Really? See, when people say what and really and that type of reaction, guess what? They need more to satisfy that because, I mean, they're not, told, they're not calling you a liar. However, they're saying, really? I mean, the, you see, they're, they're doubting it. So for me as a professional salesman, instead of continuing through my presentation with that doubt in their head, I said, well, listen, Johnny Mary, I know that I'm the salesman and I'm, you know, I'm going to tell you all these things, but what about if I show you? Look what it says here. You know who this is? This is a newspaper such and such. This was an article made, and look what it says. This person and that person stay in our resort because of this, because of this, because of that. And because they saw it, and I make them read it, guess what? Now, because it's through here, they feel more comfortable. They go, wow. See, now, what really and wow are two different things, right? Now, it's like I satisfy that doubt that they had in their head, right? So if you're selling uh, real estate, and you're going to say that this property, if you're going to dare to say that that property is a great property because of, it will be good for you that after you say that, you show that. Boom, here it says, don't take my word for it. look at the magazine. Look what they say about this location. Look what's coming, and that is gonna impact this location. Look at this house have all these things in there. You say all the things that they have, right? You explain them, and, and it sounds like a lot, but because it sounds like it's a lot, hey listen, by the way, here it is. I put it in writing. Right? I put it in writing because people believe in your handwriting more than they're going to believe in your words. Right? Words go away. But if it's in writing, that means that you have the confidence and you're trustworthy on what you're offering or what you're explaining. If you're going to do a proposal, right? do it in writing. Well, listen, I think that this is going to cost this and that. No, no, no. I think you're saying the salesperson think. Listen, you might do an estimate, but then all of a sudden you say, listen, by the way, let's put it in right. Let me show you. Let me show you how it works. Let me show you how I came to this conclusion. Let me demonstrate to you that what I'm saying has some essence and strength, right? And a good foundation instead of, well, listen, I think, you know, and well, trust me, you know, I mean, this is really good. I mean, that's a typical salesman. Remember, we are professional salespeople and a professional's people always have the backup. We all have that analytical part and the analytical don't want to hear it. Guess what? They want to see it. So if you are brave enough to put it down, right? If you're brave enough to say it, make sure you back it up and you're going to see how your credibility is going to be strong. Remember, show me, don't tell me. That's important to know because if you, I keep talking and talking and talking and talking, Believe me, the customer is not moving internally. They're just going, yeah, right. Oh, my God. Even if what you're saying is absolutely true. But to work in your favor, okay, you have backup. So you have to say, listen, here we go. Let me show you, Mr. Salesman. Because I mean, Mr. Customer, because again, I'm a salesman. I get it. Let me show you. And now it's tough to go against what they see. See, at your house, I mean, I hope you still have one radio somewhere. But you got four or five TVs. Why? Because you'd rather see it in TV than hear it on the radio. Does that make sense? So remember, seeing is believing. People are conditioned to believe what they see and to doubt what they hear. That's extremely important in the sales process to move the client internally. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. Oh, I see. Oh, really? I didn't know about that. Thank you for sharing that with me. So at the end, the sale happens a little bit more smoother. Now we can get down to the money at the end. Remember, no front end, no back end. And part of your front end is to demonstrate what your product does, not too much what it is, right? And this is the reason that I'm saying that it does because look what the medical association, look what the you know, a mechanic said, look at what you know, uh, Forbes, look at what, you know, all these top magazines, they have a lot of big credibility than you do, what they say about my industry, what they say about my product, what they say about my location, what they say about my builder, what they say about my car manufacturer. Look at the warranties. It says, look at the warranties. Don't tell them about it. Show it to them. 
We're going to put this in writing for you, Mr. Customer, because I want to make sure that you have it as a backup. See, if you are professional and you don't take it personal, you know that this is needed in their head for them to move forward towards purchasing your product today and now. If not, you're going to get think about it. Let me research. Let me find out. Give me a minute. Let me talk to my wife. Let me talk this. But when you have fed, right, through their eyes, right, what they need in the right sequence, of course, right? Sequence, remember, sequence is the key. Then the customer move forward. Okay, Mr. Selfman, now that you prove that to me, okay, this helps me this way. I can see it. See, I can see how it works for me. So, okay, so how much is it? What are the terms and conditions? What do I have to do to own this today and now? And again, that, that's when you get excited because you know you took them through the right path in the right sequence based on their mindset as the process continues in the sale, right? So again, my sales professional, I hope that this can help you. Something to think about. Oh, one little thing that you can get, boom, it might turn things around for you. You deserve to have success. You believe in your product. The customer needs this product. They need it today and now, not tomorrow. So I hope that this can help out. Again, don't forget, go for it. Go for it with passion, with enthusiasm, energy, all you got, no regrets. Okay, this is your coach, Joe Pinero, bringing you the tip of the day. Look for me and YouTube and Facebook. I'm going to continue doing these, so I hope that you can enlighten your presentation. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Success to everyone.